So we're looking at GarageBand 09, and uh, in this particular case, let's pretend we've got a track that we've recorded. It's, a, it's cranked at full volume. We've gone over here. In this case, we're talking about the drum uh, track. We go over to our track volume. We look. It's cranked at 6 dB. It cannot go any higher, but we we need that we need that track to go higher. And until I discovered this, uh, you know, I'd done that before in the past, and I was really at a wit's end how to do it. I, I had no idea until I came across this. So what you want to do in, in this case, don't re-record your track, that's useless busy work. You go over to your edit feature, and in this, in this case it's a real instrument, you click edit. You want to click here to add an effect and scroll down to you see peak limiter. Then you want to go up to your peak limiter and click on that and look at your pre-gain. And you can go from minus 40 dB up to plus 40 dB, and the default setting is at 0 dB. So in this case here, we've got a uh, kind of a bare-bones version of Brian Setzer's Jingle Bells minus the horn section, and we'll play a bit of that. So, th I mean, the drums are fine. They could actually go lower. But now we want to take them up higher, so I'm going to do it live, and we're going to crank it to 2 or 3 dB just so you can hear the difference. Simply, if you found the dB you want, you just close that up, and uh, you can take your track volume up. You don't have to worry about that anymore, and you are simply good to go on that. So hopefully this certainly helped you uh, with that. I know uh, when I discovered it, I was uh, definitely pleased that I didn't have to go ahead and re-record everything.